it took me five seconds to decide that that teal had to go. <laughs> Some people like teal. I'm not one of them. Sorry. The planner itself is vinyl, which means that you can pretty much paint over it with anything. I'm using craft paints. Be aware that if you use a satin or gloss craft paint, it will stick somewhat. So you will need to uh, probably coat it with some sort of finish or varnish. I decided that this beautiful plum colour from Americana was the one I liked best. It doesn't look this pink. Here's a swatch. Very nice paints and these are matte craft paints and you really only need one coat on most surfaces but on this vinyl surface because it's a little bit slick I did need two coats. So I'm using a half inch flat brush to get a nice even coat and the end of the brush makes it really easy to get in around the stitching and make sure that the stitching covers properly. And I'm using wax paper to lift the pockets and separate the pockets so that they don't stick while they dry. It was pretty easy to pin that pen loop out so I could get into the corners and as you can see the square brush, the flat head brush, makes it really easy to get into all those little nooks and crannies around the edges. To lift up the pockets here I put in some very thick wads of washi tape. You could use anything really, you could even lift it up with a paintbrush if you want to which I do later on. But putting the washi tape in left me with a hand free so I didn't have to hold the pockets open while I painted. Again, going in with that flat brush in and around the corner edges. And I did go in and just wipe off the front vinyl as well with a cloth while it was still wet so that it didn't go onto the front page. I decided that I wanted to keep this foiling where it says Jane Davenport with a little paintbrush in gold on the inside so I used masking fluid. Now I didn't know if this would work with acrylic, I've only ever used it with watercolour paints but I didn't see any reason why it shouldn't. I had a little bit of trouble getting it to stay on the foil. Uh, I didn't have any trouble with the acrylic going over it or with getting it off afterwards but getting it to cover the foil was tricky. You need a little bit of patience and I ended up actually doing four coats of the masking fluid in order to get it to cover properly. I had to wait for it to dry and then add some more. The advantage of that of course was that by the time I came to take it off it was so thick it really only needed a pair of tweezers and it all peeled off in one go. Going back to work on the other pockets making sure I get in around those edges and because the pockets were lifted up I was able to go in under the pockets and do approximately a brush length down underneath each pocket. The pockets run all the way down to the bottom. There is absolutely no way I was going to be able to paint all the way inside the pockets. That's ridiculous. But half an inch, you know, the, the head of the brush down into the pocket seemed to work well. And you really can't see the teal unless you are looking at the planner from the top at table length. So I suppose people across the other side of the coffee shop might notice it's got teal on the inside, but I won't be worried about it. I was really impressed with the way this Americana paint covered the thick vinyl on the outside. You'll see in a moment it didn't actually cover the inside vinyl, which is very slightly different. The outside vinyl is thicker and more textured. The 
vinyl across the middle of the planner where the rings are is a bit thinner and slightly slicker and it was very difficult to get the paint to cover but I managed it in the end it only took two coats and a little bit of patience what I found helped was painting over with an initial quite thick coat and then going in while it was still tacky and smoothing it out and evening it out that really helped more detailing on the edge just getting that brush in there and wiggling it about and then I left that to dry before I tackled this bit and here you can see where that paint is just not covering quite as well the teal is lighter on this section so of course the purple would look a little thinner and a little pinker but it really wasn't covering that well it, it was streaky and it had white patches well teal patches but eventually I got it to cover I just had to put it on a little bit thicker and be a little bit more patient with it and get it to dry before I put a second coat on and like I said going back in while it was still tacky and smoothing out the paint a little bit helped to redistribute it quite nicely the ring section is actually quite loose so I simply picked the planner up by the rings and you could quite easily slip your paintbrush underneath there as if it's a flat brush and then again inside the larger pockets I just did sort of a, a brush width's worth of paint on the inside there's going to be things in the pockets anyway so I'm not at all bothered if there's the occasional flash of teal as long as I don't have to live with it Here I am doing the clasp. Again, this is the thin vinyl from inside. So again, it took two coats. I didn't put this on as thick as I did the first one uh, because of course this has to bend and I didn't want the paint to crack. So I put one coat on and let it dry. And then I went back in and put in another coat later on when it was completely dry. And it doesn't so far seem to be cracking. I think it might at some point once the paint is fully cured. But so far I'm not having a trouble with it. As long as you layer up your paint in thin layers, plastic is, or acrylic, is quite flexible because it's plastic. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Adding a second coat to that thinner section and now you can see that it actually does cover really well on the second coat but bear in mind that the outer pieces had only had one coat at this point and in order to get it anywhere near the coverage I had to do two I decided also at this stage that the purple was a little bit too pinky and I really liked the contrast I was seeing between the darker sections and the lighter sections where I had painted over the darker teal and then the lighter teal. So I decided to pick a darker colour to go on the outside. Now the plum did a really good job of covering that section so I only ended up needing one coat of that and one coat of this which is my soft body muted acrylic liquitex paint look at that colour look how rich it is now this is a satin paint so I am going to have to seal it I need to get some satin finish sealer because I don't have any at the moment I have gloss but gloss will stick and I have matte but I don't want to lose the shine of the satin so I need to get some satin spray and once that's done I don't think this is going to go anywhere 
Although having had it painted now for several days, I can tell you that unless it sticks to itself, which I did have a little mishap and I had to repaint a section because it accidentally closed while it was empty and ended up sticking. Uh, unless it's actually touching, there's no reason why it should cause any problems or start flaking off or anything. I've had no, it doesn't scratch or anything. This Liquitex paint is fabulous. So what I've ended up doing is leaving it for now. I will still get some satin finish, I think, but for now it is perfectly happy and doesn't seem to be flaking off in any way. I did find it a little bit difficult to get the satin paint to dry evenly, uh, or to go on evenly rather. There tended to be a lot of brush strokes in it, but again, if you go in while it's very slightly tacky and go in with just a little bit more paint, you can smooth out those brush strokes. I'm glad I didn't choose this paint initially because this is a semi-opaque paint and you can see that even over the existing matte acrylic, which is basically like gesso, this really does need a good thick coat of paint, but it dries super fast and within an hour I was up and running in this planner and fully set up, which I will show you in another video. A little bit of tidying up around the edges while the paint was still wet. And there's our new colour.